So if you have no way to work out exactly how much money each post is making, um, sort of a workaround that it's not as good but it will give you an indication is to work out how many clicks you're getting on your affiliate links in each article. Um, now, as you can see, I've sort of added a bit to the spreadsheet to sort of show how I would do this in this case. Now, I've still called it RPM, but obviously it's not how much money, um, it's how many clicks, but it will still give you an indication of how well you're getting people from your post to that affiliate. Okay, so it is still a useful measure and it will still help you see where people are clicking. And in fact, it will show you detailed information about where people are clicking. And doing some of this is useful, even if you do have those commission levels, um, like I'll show you in a minute. So first of all, you can do this in Google Analytics. So it's awesome, there's this whole event thing. It might show by default, depending on how you've set it up, um, but you need to get it set up. Now, where do you find this? So this will show you what people have clicked on in your posts. It's in behavior, um, events, and then top events. So click on that top events and you'll get these options here. It'll default to category, go to event action. Then in here, we wanna do advanced filtering, okay? because we just wanna see it for individual pages. So the pages you wanna track for, you go in here, you select this to say page, um, containing, and it will help you find it. So we'll start with the first one, which is Sunwin Kamala. It doesn't wanna show me. Okay, there we go. And then click apply. Now this is quite a straightforward post, it's just a review. Now what we want is this is the affiliate link um, and it's clicked on 18 times. Now I also have the link to the hotel in that article because that was part of my specification, I was sponsored there, um, which I would definitely recommend you don't include a link to the hotel unless you have to because that's six people who might have clicked here and might have made me money. But anyway, it's 18. So this is what we put into um, our reporting. So we're gonna say we've got 18 clicks on our affiliate link. So next we'll go look at these places to visit in Gaul, Sri Lanka. Okay, so we're just gonna do the same thing. We're gonna change the filtering to look at that post. So there we go, apply. Now it gets more complicated the more links you have, obviously. Now you can't just use this top number because not all these are affiliate links. You know, I include other things like that. It's to the railway site, it's not making me money. So we just wanna to add together the affiliate links and I already did that and it was um, 63, I think. Um, and then we do the same for Penang. Now that has a lot more links, I had to go through it a bit more, um, but it was about 180. Um, and I will just take a look at that actually because um, it's super interesting just to show you what else you can do in here to help you make more money in your posts and make sure that they're converting better. It's just seeing the difference, there's a lot of links in this article, between what some of these hotels, how often they get clicked on. So um, say here, so this hotel, the Shang Rasa Sayang Resort, it's saying, um, it's seven, you know, these are seven, but if you look up, some of these other links are a lot higher. Um, so this Golden Sands got 48, for example. This Holiday Inn Resort got 35. So what you can sort of learn from this is, is try and learn what hotels are appealing to people. You know, is there a pattern to it? Is it just that you constantly see that the last one that you list gets less clicks, you know? In which case, you know, that's kind of normal. but think about then your placement, you know, do you want to put those ones that are worth more money, bigger commissions at the top? Um, if you've got one that's at the top and normally you'd expect more clicks, but it's getting, you know, hardly, it's getting like two clicks, is it the wrong choice of hotel? Are people not interested in that type of hotel? Um, you know, think about what your readers are actually interested in and give them the best choices. Um, you know, it'll help them and it'll help you make more money. So you can learn that from there too. Um, but back to our spreadsheet, so we've got that. Again, we can get this RPM and try and get an idea of what's working well. And what's interesting here is that this Gaul one is getting a lot more clicks to the hotel than the Penang one, you know, so what can that tell us? Um, maybe it's as simple as my Penang post is really long and when people get further down, you know, they're just like less likely to have made it that far, you know. But maybe how I'm presenting it is bad, you know, so that's really useful information as well. Um, and because it's still taking into account those page views and you know, it's all relative. So you can work out 
from this as well, what's converting well and what isn't.